When I was in fifth grade, I wanna say, I took dance classes and I was like the only fat girl in my dance class. I remember just really recognizing like, I'm not like these people. <laughs> and I should have found comfort in that because why do you need to be like anyone else? You should just be like yourself. And being able to move on and try to accept all that is, it's certainly a much more interesting journey than trying to be a copycat. When I talk about how I started practicing yoga, it's, I always paraphrase and I'm just like, yeah, you know, I was going through a really dark time. I was really, really lost. And um, you don't know what's gonna pull you out of, out of that feeling. Practicing yoga helped me process it. And it, it gave me a way to anchor myself. I started practicing yoga at home. I was like looking at social media and learning more about asana. And um, in learning about it, I discovered the yoga community on Instagram. And so then it evolved into something else where it's like, so obviously the yoga community has a major visibility issue. And the way to counter that is to show more people who are just living their practices. There's this physical practice that I'm doing, but there's also this like recording practice that feels really important. And I don't know why it's important. It's something that I did not care about before, but people feel a connection to that. They're like, this is a real person. Like I see this is a real person. From that little, just like, well, I guess I'll keep doing this since it's, it's clearly shaking up people in a way that they need to be shaken up. that evolved into where we are now. When I think about discovering that path within myself, I've always described it as an instrument that was buried within me. And it's covered in goop and slime and shit. And I'm over the years just like cleaning it off and trying to get it to a place where I can play it. And then, you know, I start playing it, still cleaning it, start playing it. And then someone else hears me playing this instrument and they're like, oh shit. Where'd you get the instrument from? <laughs> and I'm like, bitch, I found it inside myself. It is, I have an instrument inside me. And then they're like, you think I got an instrument inside me? And then I'm like, you totally have an instrument inside you. <laughs> and then we play together. I'm not trying to breed a herd of jessamines. It's just trying to get everybody to find this instrument within themselves. Cause it's there.